This episode of G News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way. If in like 1850 I said, good morrow friends, 100 years hence we shall climb into a contraption taller than that nearby six story skyscraper and within it travel to the moon, you'd be like, you crazy. <laughs> Hey everybody, thank you for watching today. I am Trace. Rocketry is crazy. It is, just admit it. It's a painstakingly scrutinized scientific endeavor akin to Wiley e. Coyote jumping into a barrel sitting on top of dynamite. Rocketry is the idea that we can take a missile and control it all the way into space, which is insane in itself. But you have to ask yourself, what kind of crazy things can we do once we get to space? And when I looked into it, space scientists did not disappoint. Saturn is a crazy place. There's a weird hexagon swirling at its North Pole, not to mention it's got rings or something, but its moon Titan has space scientists really excited. Titan is one of the closest Earth-like planets we can study. NASA describes it as a frozen version of Earth, only, you know, not. Titan has a chemical-rich atmosphere, and the surface is Earth-like with oceans, rivers, mountains, and even rain. But the thing is, the lakes and rivers and rain aren't water, they're ethane and methane. This planet is so similar and yet so alien and so familiar that scientists believe that they can send a probe equipped with a submarine. A submarine to Titan. The plan, unveiled earlier this month and penned for 2040, is to use a submarine powered by radioactive pellets, like Curiosity on Mars, to dive below the methane seas and explore the very cold ocean called Kraken Mare. It's just a study and a concept, but if they did it, whoa! The Kraken Mare hovers around 90 Kelvin, and because of the density of liquid methane, nitrogen would be used for ballast. Not to mention the Mare itself has choppy waves and possibly tides. This is some old school stuff but not the oldest schoolist. How do you feel about dirigibles? If you saw our old video on them, then you know how I feel. I think they are fantastic. Another idea from NASA is HAVOC, the High Altitude Venus Operational Concept. It alleviates all of those super awesome feelings about dirigibles that you ever had. 50 kilometers above the surface of Venus, the temperature is around 75 Celsius, and gravity is similar to Earth. Daily radiation exposure on Venus is similar to Canada, whereas Mars's exposure is about 40% more than Earth average. So, scientists figure, why shouldn't we live there? The plan is to send robots and then humans who can permanently live above Venus in a helium-filled, solar-powered airship twice the size of a 747. Venus is ideal for human explorations as it's closer to Earth than Mars, but it's not as popular for exploration, maybe because of the combination of dense crushing atmosphere, heat, and, you know, sulfuric acid rain, but what do I know? And just to toss a wrench in the cool and crazy but actually possible tone of this episode, I bring you the Daedalus. In the 1970s, the British Interplanetary Society wanted to create a craft that could study the Fermi Paradox, or the idea that there are suns billions of years older than ours, likely with Earth-like planets. So where life at? They have billions of years to colonize the universe, so why ain't they done it? The Daedalus is a deuterium and helium-3 fusion-powered spaceship that is just massive. The concept weighed 450 tons and would have been able to travel 12% the speed of light after 46 years of acceleration. <laughs> no big deal. It wouldn't be able to slow down, of course, so it's not exactly useful for data collection once it gets anywhere. Also, not great for human transport or exploration of any kind, but it can take some pictures. Not to mention, of course, it's really expensive to build or the crazy engineering that would be involved. Daedalus was an engineering proof of concept. The scientists wanted to prove interstellar travel was possible, assuming we could build something this crazy. Today, the 100-year Starship project, while crazy, probably has a better grasp on reality. Disco. Daedalus, 70s was a crazy time. Have you heard about these crazy space exploration things? Tell us in the comments. Make sure you subscribe for more D News, and thanks for watching. This episode of D News is brought to you by the Toyota Corolla. Let's lead the way.